Hello guys and welcome to our game week 18 preview. Let's start with some tips and I'll show you how my team is doing in the end of this video. But now, here are stats and facts. Dele Alli has scored 5 goals in his last 4 Premier League meetings with Chelsea. Against no side has he scored more goals in the competition. Chris Wood has scored more Premier League goals than any other Burnley player this season with 7 and has netted 3 goals in his 4 top flight matches against AFC Bournemouth. Man United have won 11 of their 12 Premier League meetings, 92% with Watford. Only against Wigan Athletic do they have a higher win rate, 94% of teams they have played at least 10 times. Leicester have won the last 4 Premier League away matches by an aggregate score of 17 to 1. The Foxes have never previously won 5 consecutive away matches in the top flight. The Blades are looking to become only the second promoted team in the history of the English top flight to remain unbeaten in their 9 away matches of a season, with Burnley in 1947-48, the only other instance. Arsenal have won more matches, 33 and scored more goals 107 against Everton than they have against any other side in the Premier League. Moving on to clean sheets odds, and the teams with the highest clean sheets odds in this game week are Sheffield United, Man United and Crystal Palace. Time for our budget picks, starting with Gabriel Martinelli. Playing just under 300 minutes, he still scored 1 goal and delivered 1 assist so far. He has attempted 4 shots, including 3 on target, as well as delivering a key pass in the last 3 game weeks despite completing a full game only twice. Since the third game week and onwards, opponents Everton kept only one clean sheet in 15 games. Timu Pukki, among forwards priced below 8 million, he has scored the highest number of goals with 9 strikes. Relatively back to his start of the season form lately, having netted 3 goals and delivered an assist over the last 5 game weeks, a consistent threat to the opposition having attempted a minimum of 2 shots in each and every game this season, bar 2. Opponents Wolves have conceded 2 goals in each of their last 2 outings. Neil Maupay, in hot form having scored in each of the last 3 games and is looking to score for the 4th time in a row, along with that timeline he has fired in 12 shots including 8 on target, highlighting a great attacking intent and precision. Brighton has scored at least 2 goals in 4 out of their last 5 matches at home. And now let's check our differential picks. Firstly this week we have Aston Villa's midfielder Jack Grealish. The Birmingham born player has been in outstanding form for his club and has returned attacking points in 3 of his last 5 games, would have been 4 in 5 games if he scored that penalty last week against Sheffield United and Lord Lundstrom. Grealish has scored 158 touches in the final third in the last 4 game weeks, only Sterling and De Bruyne have registered more in that time. Plus, he seems to be on penalties and has great fixtures coming up too. Villa play against the bottom 3 teams in the next 3 games. Nicholas Otamendi Ok, so you may laugh at this, but hear me out. John Stones is injured for 3 more weeks and Laporte is out for another month. Rodri is safely marooned in center midfield and Walker hasn't been playing at center half for a while. So they only have Fernandino and Otamendi left who will clearly play most of the games in the next few weeks. City play Leicester next. Man City have beaten Leicester 2-1, 5-1 and 1-0 at home in the past 3 seasons. Then they play Wolves, Sheffield, Everton and the only the Wolves games is away. Lastly, Otamendi is a good bet for a random attacking return, with 2 goals and 1 assist in under 900 minutes, plus he's so cheap for a city defender, just a lowly 5 mil. Lucas Moura Lastly we have Moura, the Brazilian white player was out of favor under the previous manager Pochettino and like Dele Alli has benefited from the appointment of Jose Mourinho. Under Mourinho so far Spurs have scored 14 goals in 5 games, nearly 3 goals at home, Mora has 3 goals in those 5 games to make it 4 for his season. Add to that 10 he scored last season when he wasn't even regular for the Spurs. Spurs play Chelsea and Brighton home, followed by Norwich and Southampton away. 4 leaky defenses for Spurs attackers to rip into. Our recommended captain picks for game week 18 are Son. He has been in form ever since Jose took charge of the team. He has 6 attacking contributions in 5 games, equaling his teammate Ali. Son has faced the Blues 6 times and scored twice, it doesn't sound like the best record, but Son feels like he's in the form of his life right now. Rashford 
He is the man of the moment in all of Manchester, he contributed in United's last games, except for the Everton and Bournemouth games, he played 60 minutes in the cup tie against Colchester United, scoring once and assisting once as well. United are facing a side with 32 goals conceded so far, Rashford has faced the Hornets 4 times and scored 3 goals. Last but not least, Vardy. Although he did not keep his streak of scoring in his ninth match in a row, but he still managed to get that assist. He faced the citizens 9 times, scoring 5 goals and assisting once, with all the attacking that City will be doing and the poor defending they are struggling with. Since the injury is piled up, Vardy will score. To the last segment of our preview, frequently asked questions. First question, what should we do with Liverpool players ahead of their blank in game week 18? After an impressive start for Liverpool to their Premier League campaign, the Reds are now off to Qatar to participate in Club World Cup bringing the first blank of the season. FPL managers will have to make a tough decision with Liverpool assets, in fact it might be the hardest game week so far this season. With Liverpool's blank coming along with head-to-head -head clashes at the top of the table, so if you've got 3 Liverpool players, it would be wise to sell 1 or even 2 if you got 2 free transfers in the wallet. While if you've got two players, it depends on your team as you might be tempted to look at your squad depth and whether you can afford to bench them both or you would need to sacrifice one of them. Else, and if you've got just one Liverpool asset, you can easily bench him and make use of your free transfer elsewhere. Second question, play or bench Leicester defenders versus Man City away? As the fixtures are starting to turn against Leicester with two successive head-to-head -head clashes against City and Liverpool, Many FPL managers are thinking about the status of the Fox's defensive assets. Brandon Rogers' side have conceded a warning for these shots across the past four games against Norwich, Villa, Watford and Everton. No wonder if they find their job even more difficult when they pay a visit to the Etihad Stadium. Taking into consideration that their opponent City has blanked just once this season, back in game week 8 in shock 2-0 defeat to Wolves, Leicester are most likely to concede in this game and it would be wise to bench the likes of Evans, Soyuncu and Schmeichel if you got a decent starting 11. After bunching Liverpool assets, while if you own Pereira or Sheba, you can field either of them hoping they can get any attacking returns. Third question, keep or sell Chelsea players after the recent form, 1 win and 4 losses ahead of their class with informed Spurs. After 6 straight wins between Game Week 7 and Game Week 12, Chelsea has suffered a huge dip in form in the following 5 game weeks, registering a single win and losing the other 4, with Chelsea making the short trip to play against the informed Spurs, who won 4 of their last 5 Premier League matches under Jose Mourinho. It remains to be seen whether the Blues can overturn their poor form or not, Chelsea defensive assets look worthy of selling at the moment, especially with their budget defender Fikayo Tomori missing their last 2 games through injury. Same goes for Mason Mount and Christian Pulisic, who have registered a single attacking return between them both in the last 5 game weeks. While with Tammy Abraham, who started the season priced at just 7 mil, many FPL managers have value tied up to him. As such, it would be better to keep him, hoping he can reward his owners with something. So, as promised, this is the state of my team at this very moment. I'm currently resting on 1023 points and my global rank is around 39,000. Last game week I got 58 points and they could have been more if I captain Salah instead of Vardy. For this game week I finally swapped Tomori with Rico and I am most likely to captain Son. Let me know in the comments how your team is doing. We have come to the end of this preview, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to check out our Facebook page, Twitter and website for daily tips and updates. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. Good luck in game week 18 and peace.